What makes the Ralston Field Lab so versatile is that it allows you to create custom test modes for calibration and data logging on your laptop and then load them onto your field lab. You can also share these test mode files with other technicians, eliminating the need to create them from scratch. First, you'll need to download and install the Field Lab desktop software on a Windows based computer from RalstonFieldLab.com. Follow the on screen instructions to get your Field Lab set up and linked to your PC. For creating test modes, it isn't necessary to have your field lab connected. However, you will need to connect it at some point to transfer the test mode to the field lab. So let's create a test mode. For this example, we'll show you a calibration test. Start by selecting the test mode library from the main header and select new test mode and calibration from the drop down menu. First, we'll name the test. Since we plan on calibrating a series of 30 PSI analog gauges, we'll name it 30 PSI Cal Test. Our test mode units will be in PSI. However, you can choose any measurement you like. Atmosphere, bar, inches of water, inches of mercury, kilopascals, or any of the 15 available units of measure. The default for DUT type is analog but digital can be selected if you're calibrating digital pressure gauges or transmitters. We'll select our unit size as 0.1, which is the smallest subdivision of measurement on our analog gauge. You can also select the standard set of test points or customize your own. Since our DUT is a quarter percent of full scale accuracy, we'll set the accuracy standard at ASME Grade 3A, which tells us we end up with a permissible error of plus or minus 0 0.075 PSI and a series of five test points over the span of the gauge. This will give us 11 test points, a starting point of zero with five points going up and five points coming down. Now we click Save and our 30 PSI Cal Test test mode shows up in our test mode library. From here, we can edit each test mode further export them individually or as a collection, or delete them. Next, we'll add our new test mode to a field lab. First, I'll connect our field lab to the USB port. We then click the field lab icon in the header. You can have multiple field labs loaded in the field lab desktop, but you can only load tests to a single connected field lab. We then select the field lab we want to load the test to, and select the test modes tab. We choose the next open spot on our test mode panel to add our test. We'll select our 30 PSI Cal test that we just created and any others that we want to add up to a total of 15 test modes in addition to the default manual mode which cannot be removed. Then click Add Test Modes. And now that test mode will be available to us in our field lab hardware. And keep in mind the test modes you see on this panel reside on the field lab. A great feature of the software is that you can share your created test modes with others so they can use them in their field labs. To do so, just click in the test modes library icon. The test modes you created will be on the left. To share a test mode, select the test, or you can hold down control and select several, then click export. And you can choose the location on your computer where you want the files to reside. Once you've exported the file, you can send it just like any other attachment in an email. On the receiving end, to load a test mode into the Field Lab software, the process is pretty much the same. Click on the Test Modes tab in the header. Then select Import Test Modes from the menu. Then browse to whatever folder you saved the file to and select it. It will then appear in your library of test modes, which you can then load onto your Field Lab. The ability to create and share test modes for consistency and repeatability makes Field Lab extremely versatile, as well as making life easier for you. You'll see how to access and use these test modes in our calibration or data logging video segments, available at RalstonFieldLab.com. And for more information about all Ralston products, go to RalstonInst.com. <laughs>